Hi there, I'm Sarah Henson. I'm an email copywriter and strategist, and I'm also a self-confessed tech geek, and I love to show you ways to make your business run smoother. And I'm a big fan of Google. And in this video, I'm gonna show you 13 different things that you may not know that you can do with Google Docs that makes it awesome. So I'm gonna hop right into this template uh, Google Doc that I've created just to show you some of the features. So first of all, the first thing is your page setup. Google Docs automatically create docs in the American paper size. So normally I keep, keep to that paper size unless I'm printing. And then what I'll do is change to A4 because I'm in the UK and all our paper is A4 size. So all you want to do is go to File, Page Setup, and you can change your letter size here, which I'll change to a4 and you can change your margins as well because sometimes if I'm trying to create a document and I want everything to fit on one page and I might need to tweak the, the margins so that I can fit everything in. Of course you can go to landscape as well if you want. So that's how you do your page setup. Another great thing that you can do is you can change rather than changing your font here through maybe this way, like just changing your font you can actually create um, your styles. So what you might wanna do is change, change your, if this was my header, I'm gonna increase that to 18. I'm gonna have it as a center. And what I'm gonna do is have it underlined. So if I wanted all my headers to have that same thing, what I do is go to this bit here, which is where your styling is, drop down. So like, let's have this as my title. I'm going to update title to match. So I'm updating my settings so that any time I put, let's say I wanted this as a title, I would then click that and it will become a title. I'm just going to take that back. So obviously I would like to change that to something different as a subtitle. Let's do that. Put that in the middle. Again, update subtitle to match. Uh, and then we can go through that for each one. So let's change this into slightly different font there. Make that Laura. And I'm going to change that to heading one to match. Okay, so now I've set three of those title, subtitle, and heading one. Okay, so now I've got those settings done. Um, that's anytime I want to change anything in my document that's um, Let's say that's going to be a heading one, it'll automatically change. And then if I decide to actually change that what my heading one is, let's say actually I want that a little bit bigger, I can then update heading one to match and then all the rest of my headings that I made, where is it? There it is. That's updated as well. So you see that's now a 15 size. So I don't have to go through my entire document trying to update all the different bits of text that I've highlighted as um, a different font or a different size or um, bold or something like that. So that gets it consistent throughout your whole document. Now, obviously, um, that's great to have in a document. But what happens if you want to set this as your default template? You know, you select a different um, page size or different margins, because every time you open a new Google Doc, you get the basic default um, settings. So if you want this to um, be applied as your default settings, to make it permanent, what you do is go to Format, Paragraph Styles, you go to Options, and then save this as my default style and you click that and then anytime you open a new Google Doc it will be under these um, settings so that whenever you apply the title tag here it will always be in the font that you want it to be. Okay so next now that I've got those things in place, um, what's a really useful thing to be able to jump through your document is using this outline. Um, this might, this has showed document outline, how you can do it. You might not have it at the moment, so let's just go view, show document outline, and then you can see the different, um, you can jump through to the different places in your document on this outline. Now let's just say I added in something here that was just a capital, capital letter or something, and I bolded it, 
this might show up as like a, a subheading and that might be what I want but if I don't all I can do all I do to take it out of my outline is to just click that and it won't show up the next thing which I find super useful is the find and replace uh, feature which means you can search for a specific um, thing in your document and then replace it with something else so for example let's say lorem in this lorem ipsum copy uh, in this text I might decide that I actually want to have lorem as in capitals so I would go find and replace and look for lorem and I want to replace it with capital lorem and I'll just press replace all and everywhere in the document it will change my little lorem into capitals. This is a really good feature for something like that, but also if you're like me, uh, when you type, you might do a double space after a full stop, which is kind of an old school way of typing. It's a habit that I find very hard to stop. So you can use that to do that as well. So we go find and replace, let's get rid of that. Find double space and replace it with a single space. And you can see in there where it's highlighted where these double spaces are. So replace all, and there we go, that's all done. So we know that that's all, all um, formatted properly. The other thing that we can do in Google Docs that you might not know is using images, you can drag and drop some. So I'm actually gonna use this, um, this image that I created earlier. I'm gonna just download it from my Canva. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add that in here. So I'm going to just drag and drop it in here. And what I can do if I highlight that, I can change it so that my text can be moved around it. So let's say I wanted to put some text after it. I might actually want to wrap my text especially if I made this a bit smaller I can wrap my text around it so it goes next to it so that way you can style your document how you want with images I'm going to just delete that for now and also, what I found is a really clever thing to do if you want to really make your Google, if you're going to be sharing your Google Docs, people are going to use them and see them uh, perhaps as a proposal or an agreement and you want it to, rather than having it all designed in Canva, which can be a bit of a pain in the backside, having to copy and paste all your text into various different text boxes, you can create a PDF in your Google Docs and a great way to do it is by having this banner. That's why I use this banner. My banner is uh, the pixel size is 1600 by 300. What I do, I double click so I can get into my header and then drag and drop my image into the top. I want to do it so the text wraps and then when I make it bigger, it will Okay, that didn't go in the thing. There we go, that's in the header now. You can see that, okay, it needs to get into the header. I wanna make it so it bleeds to the edge, like that. And then you've got yourself a nice header at the top of your document. And then to make it into a PDF, all you do is file, download, download PDF document there. And when you do that, it will automatically download I'll um, have a think, do all the what it needs to do, and then when we look at it, it's a, it's a nice looking uh, PDF. So before I would actually do that, I would obviously make sure that my document is complete. The next thing I want to show you is a really clever way. If you um, have an injury and you can't type, a really good feature is to use the voice tool, which so we go to tools and voice typing. So all you do is click this button and you can dictate and make sure it types everything you say, full stop. 
and then you just click it to stop it. Okay, I'm gonna cancel that out. Next feature, this is number nine, how to create anchor links in your document. This is my index and this is my introduction to my document. You'll see here, number one, Laram Ipsum, number two, Ut Enim, number three, Acceptor. And I want these things to link. So when I click them, uh, so what, this is for when I uh, create my PDF, I want them to link so that if someone clicks them, they go through to the, the other document or what, if someone is just viewing my Google Doc. So what I need to do first is create the bookmarks. So insert a bookmark there, insert a bookmark there, number three, insert a bookmark, and four, insert a bookmark. Okay, so now what I want to do is highlight that text, insert a link, and you'll see I have the bookmarks available. So there's the first one, apply it. Next one, insert a link, bookmarks, written in. Insert bookmark, you get the, oh, no, I don't want to <laughs> insert link. You get the, the gist of this. Final one, insert link, bookmark, number four, apply. And you'll see when you click them, you're allowed to go to the bookmark. And this is great if you've got a very big long document that you want to send to someone, whether it's like a, a product brochure or something like that, you can have those links in there that people can just click straight through to. Uh, number 10, um, great feature of Google Docs and it's great when you have a team and you're sharing information you can highlight a piece of text click here and comment on it can you action this please so you can make comments and then when you can if you want to resolve the comment you can click that and it will hide the discussion it says mark as resolved so this is a way a good way to mark up any questions that you have if for example a member of your team has prepared this document for you and you want to go through and just uh, make some notes you can do this at any point by highlighting and adding a comment there you can also add other people by using the um the at sign anyone in your organization so that they get notified that they've had a, a comment made and you can actually assign it to them by clicking the assign box. I'm not gonna do that right now. Next one is um, if you wanted to do some editing in the document, but um, still see the original version, you will want to change from editing mode up here into suggesting mode. And then any changes you make, will allow you to see them. So I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna start typing, typing something else. So I'm gonna delete that and then type something else. And I'm gonna click off it. You see that that is got a strike out as a delete and then type something else is there. And you'll see this as a suggestion and you can then, or your team member that can then go through and accept or reject the suggestion and you'll see if I accept it, it changes that to what I actually put in there, type something and the other bit of text has disappeared now. So that's the suggestion mode. Always remember to, if you wanna go back to editing, to go back to the editing mode. Okay, number 12 in these 13 things that you might not know about Google Docs is the past version. So you can see here, last edit was seconds ago, but I can open the version history and it'll bring up a timeline. So you'll see what I've done in this doc since I first opened this doc and did this, started this tutorial. You can see that I've changed the capitals you can see that I added the image there and then deleted it. You can see the links and everything. I deleted that bit of text. Also, you can see, I can go back to this bit here, which is the original version of the doc, which actually had nothing in it. And then an earlier version, which is the what I had to start with. And if I wanted to, I could restore this version here so that I, have, I can go back to a different version. 
but I'm not going to go and do that. But that's a really good thing that that will that timeline will stay for as long as you have you have the document there. And then the final thing that I want to sh share with you today is that sharing the document. So you can actually go to file, share, and you can click in there and type in someone's email address and, th and then get that sent to them. You type in their email address, you want to send a notification, you can send a message, here's the doc, and then send that and then they'll get a, a share anyway, because this is out of my organisation, it's just a Gmail address. I'll share it anyway. And then that will send an email to that email address saying you've been invited to edit this document. Also with the share, you can change what they can do, viewer or commenter or editor. Also, if you want to share with the link, you can get a link to the document. So if you want to make sure that people can see it, you'll want to change because at the moment the access is only to me and anyone in this group can look. So we can say anyone with the link can view. Let's say, let's say comment. So then we can copy that link. And then if I send that to anyone, they can actually view the document and comment on it, but they won't be able to edit it or anything like that. And that is a great option for you if you're working with teams or people outside of your organization that you would like input on. Um, just make sure you've got the link set properly, you know, and the, the permissions are set properly. And that's that. And that concludes 13 different things that you can do with Google Docs that you might not have known that you can do. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can email me hello at sarahhenson.co.uk. And if you enjoyed the video and want to um, be notified of more videos that I uh, put on my channel, be sure to hit subscribe and click the notification bell button so that you are notified of all my new videos. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.